Hello everyone and welcome back to Lewis News, your number one YouTube channel for all types of Spider-Man news. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about that Silk TV show and how it's been officially announced as Silk Spider Society. But before we do get into that, if you are new around the channel and you enjoy all types of Spider-Man news from the games, the movies and the shows, and you just want to stay up to date with everything Spider-Man, well, this is the channel for you. So make sure you're subscribed and make sure you hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you do not miss any more content as soon as it comes out on the channel and so you can stay in the loop. And with that being said, let's get straight into the news. So this is coming from TV Line and they have shared that the showrunner for The Walking Dead, Angela Kang, has now switched from working with AMC to work with Amazon to oversee the Silk Spider Society TV series. MGM Plus gave a short description for the series and a little bit of a teaser for an upcoming TV shared universe for Sony's Spider-Man characters, saying it's the first of a suite of live action television series based on Sony Pictures Universe of Marvel characters, which includes over 900 characters. It's also worth mentioning that the series will be produced by Phil Lord and Chris Miller. And for those of you guys who don't know who they are, they're the guys who are working on the Into the Spider-Verse movies. So obviously Into the Spider-Verse, Across the Spider-Verse and Beyond the Spider-Verse. They are big pioneers of that Spider-Man franchise. So this series is in good hands for all of those of you who are worried that Sony haven't really had the best track record recently when it comes to handling Spider-Man characters. The Hollywood Reporter has also reported on this, labeling this as official confirmation that Amazon and Sony Pictures TV will be the front runners of the show. And the show will follow Cindy Moon as she escapes imprisonment and searches for her missing family on her way to becoming the superhero known as Silk. So if you guys don't know who Silk is from the comics, Silk essentially gets bitten by the same spider as Peter Parker. But obviously, unlike Peter Parker, she doesn't become Spider-Woman or Spider-Girl. She is actually in fact locked away and she is used as a test subject to test out the spider abilities. And obviously when she escapes, this is when the world learns of Silk. And as the short description says, this series will focus on her escaping that imprisonment and going on to look for her missing family. We've also got official confirmation that this show will take place alongside other Sonyverse characters. So this will most likely include the likes of Venom, Madam Web, Craven, and other heroes and villains that Sony are currently setting up. And this will be the first in many TV series that Sony are adapting based on the Spider-Man comic books. Now, Silk, interestingly, is actually quite a relatively new character in the Spider-Man mythos. She's only around roughly 10 years old when it comes to Spider-Man comics and appearing in the comic books. So I think it's pretty interesting that they're choosing to adapt this character over any other. But as we know, Madam Web will also be introducing many different versions of Spider-Men and women. So we'll just have to wait till that comes out to see who appears there. I'm excited for this show, especially since Phil Lord and Chris Miller are heading it because that means that we know it's in safe hands and we know what type of things they've come out with before. But let me know in the comment section down below, are you excited for the Silk TV series? I think it's something different, and we haven't actually had a modern Spider-Man TV series yet. So I'm very excited, but probably you could say more curious as well. And also because we know Silk gets bitten by the same spider as Peter Parker, we are one step closer to seeing who the Sony-verse version of Spider-Man is. We've been getting all of these different characters like Craven, Venom, El Maruto even, but we haven't actually gotten Peter Parker yet, which is quite baffling. But we're one step closer with the Silk TV series. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like on it and also subscribe so you can stay up to date with all types of Spider-Man news. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this official confirmation. I'm very excited. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video. Take care and peace.